All right, I'm uh, Craig Ellison. I'm the executive director with Floyd County Schools here in beautiful Northwest Georgia. Um, I've been in this position for eight years now at the central office and it's a position that has grown tremendously over the years. Um, right now, we currently have 18 schools in our district and in, not including our College and Career Academy, which was previously voted the best College and Career Academy in the state of Georgia. Um, so we have a tremendous amount of responsibilities in my department. Um, and as most people in my position, uh, we don't have enough people. No one ever has enough people to work with them. So, um, but what's unique about Floyd County Schools is we actually have a city school system as well. So we cover all the county schools, which range all the way from the Alabama state line, all the way out to the Armerchi area, which goes up almost into uh, Walker County. So we have a vast area to cover, um, a lot of cables to run, and a lot of kids to support, a lot of teachers to support. I often get asked, uh, as I meet with other people in my position across the state, other superintendents, you know, what exactly is going on in Floyd County right now with technology? Uh, and those are always great questions. I'm very passionate about talking about that information with people. Um, right now, the biggest thing we have going on in Floyd County is we have many projects dedicated to security. And that security is both the physical security and protection of our buildings, but also our most important asset, our students. The other side of that is we wanna make sure we're protecting the data that our students leave behind. Um, you know, we really started looking at this issue about a year and a half ago, and I went to the superintendent and I kind of shared with him a, a high level view of security. And he immediately loved the idea and he got me in front of the board at a board meeting. And I just had to say our board members are absolutely amazing. They asked the right questions. They knew exactly what to ask and it was perfect timing. It was right as the Equifax data breach occurred. And they had so many wonderful ideas and questions of what we can do and how technology can help. And that you can't you can't put a value on that when you're asking for several hundred thousand dollars for projects and the board wants to approve that and ask great questions. I consider myself one of the luckiest executive directors in the state of Georgia for that because it's not easy to come by. Um, some of the projects that came out of that was we had to upgrade our security cameras. Um, we went out and right now we currently have all of our high schools and we're finishing up all of our middle schools security cameras. They're protecting not only the physical building, but they're also protecting, as we said, the kids inside. And that provides us with a much stronger ability to view and um, record our students in the building and make sure they're safe. In conjunction with that, we also uh, brought in a system called Raptor. And I work with our um, chief security officer, Rick Flanagan, to bring in this program. We have it implemented in all of our buildings um, this year. It allows parents to walk in, scan an ID badge or a driver's license, and then immediately it runs a background check on them. It also lets us know if they can come in and visit, do they have the legal authority to visit that child. Two huge wins for us right there. Um, in conjunction with that, we did a little what we call old school security. We made sure that all of our six through 12 students are wearing badges. Um, they all have lanyards, they have the badges involved. Um, my department was strong in that because we had to find the security badges, get the equipment, get it set up, get it out to the school. So those were three major things that we wanted to make sure we worked on the physical, uh, physical side, but also on the virtual side. People don't understand the amount of data that is collected on students in public education. Um, federal law absolutely mandates what we have to do with that and what we can't do with that. So we wanted to make sure we went down that path of securing that as well. One aspect that we did was we virtualized 100 and something physical servers into a virtual environment. It gave a single point of control and a single point of security, which was a huge benefit for us. Um, as we went through the, all these projects and we're looking through them, we also discovered uh, if we have one user with an email account, we have an issue. Um, they can turn over a password that can open up uh, various amounts of other portals inside of our district. So we rolled out some software this year that does phishing tests on all of our employees. About a monthly check, we're not trying to catch anybody doing anything wrong. We're trying to collect data so we can then provide positive feedback to our users and make sure they get the training they need to protect their data, in turn protect the student data. Um, I've been in this position for eight plus years and you can never know it all. And when you looked at the amount of stuff that we had and we knew the boards involved and we knew we had to get this done right, um, we reached out uh, to TIG and we wanted to make sure they could provide us with really the intelligence and the background they had to make sure we had this done correctly. Um, TIG was there to support us. They've been helping us out with three or four major projects. And without them, we wouldn't be able to get this project going. And we know within the next year when we finish, all of our stakeholders are gonna be happy, board members are gonna be happy, and kids are gonna be protected.